How is everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with a 2015-2016 Chicago Bears NFL roster breakdown. This is basically where I analyze each player and each position uh, of this of a certain team. Right today, we're doing the Chicago Bears, so uh, I'll be starting off at like the quarterback position offensively, and then I'll move back to the defense. Basically, kind of giving my insight on uh, each position of each team and uh, what I think of their uh, <coughs> current situation and kind of what their chances are. Of being successful as we look at the quarterback position now i don't know too much about david fails right here the third string guy but jay Cutler, uh the starter last year and i think he's been there for a little bit uh there's kind of a lot of controversy uh, a lot of controversy about jay Cutler and whether or not he actually should be the uh the quarterback of, of the future for the for the chicago bears because of the fact that he has uh, at times been kind of reckless with this uh, decision making and in throwing interceptions i actually like and their backup right here, Jimmy Clausen and uh, David Fails. I don't know how, how you pronounce his name, but um, uh, I think their their backup situation is good. And Jay Cutler, I think he, he, he can be really good, man, at times. Like, he can be one of the better quarterbacks in the league for, for certain. And uh, uh, it's just unfortunate that he's kind of struggled over the past couple years. I don't know if it's because of the coaching situation or kind of chemistry with, with Brandon Marshall that he had last year is messed up. Uh, but Brandon Marshall no longer is on the Bears, and uh, their coach, Mark Tressman, I think was his name, is no longer their coach. They now have uh, John Fox, who actually was Jay Cutler's coach when he was having a lot of success in Denver. So uh, I think that's a great sign for Bears fans all, uh, all around Chicago and all around the United States and the world, I suppose. As we look at the running back position right here, Matt Forte, Jaquiz Rogers, and Kadeem Carey are the three running backs they have, basically, that I feel like will get the most playing time. I don't know if Langford or Perry will, but I know a lot about these three guys. Uh, Matt Forte, for first of all, is one of the better running backs in the league. I would say, man, I don't know if I, 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 mm, I don't know if I put him top five because you have like the Marshawn Lynch, Adrian Peterson, Demarco Murray, Lashawn McCoy, and then I probably put Matt Forte at five or some or somewhere around those. But he's such a talented running back because of the fact that he has a great uh, pass catching ability. He's a big dude at six two and uh, taller than the average running back for, for certain, kind of close to what Aaron Foster's height is. And I kind of like their running back situation because Kadeem Carey was a great running back in college. And Jaquiz Rogers is only 5'6 and kind of a Darren Sproles type player. I feel like he could be like that uh, in terms of size. But actually his weight is kind of superior to Darren Sproles and actually can truck over guys. So very interesting body size. I think their running game could have a lot of success. And if you know the Chicago Bears, their offense is pretty loaded. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey, Eddie Royal, Kevin White are big time really good receivers. All these guys are pretty solid. Uh, Kevin White really hasn't done too much at all because of the fact that he is a rookie and he's coming to the NFL for the first season. But in college, uh, he did a lot and he was and he's expected to do well. And I think he will do well, to be honest with you. Uh, sometimes there's some players that you just kind of think that, well, I, re I don't know, man. I mean, they're like kind of like Davion Clowney last year. People, a, lot of people, some, a lot of people did think he was going to be a bust. And he isn't necessarily a bust yet, but he did get injured uh, for all of last year. And uh, I don't know too much about these other guys, Mariani and uh, Wilson, but kind of interesting. They only have like a uh, six receiver deep uh, kind of lineup right here at the receiver position. But uh, Eddie Royal, Kevin White, and Alshon Jeffrey is pretty good right there. Uh, I think they'll sign a couple more people probably, or uh, maybe other players will get more playing time. But their offense, I mean, it's been known to be really effective. Martellus Bennett, again, one of the top one of the top tight ends in the league. And then Dante Rosario and Pierre Pasco. And actually, Zach Miller. This was interesting because Zach Miller is a really good linebacker. So I was surprised they actually were able to acquire him as well. Uh, a really good, did I say middle linebacker? Uh, a really good tight end. <laughs> uh, I was kind of surprised that they were able to uh, actually get him because I know the Seahawks, I think, released him. He had an injury problem. But they, their offense is loaded, man. Like, their running game is solid. Their tight ends are solid. Their receivers are solid. And if Jay Cutler's on point, they are really good, man. Offensively, it's hard to stop them. Last year, they were effective at times, but sometimes they just they couldn't get the job done. Uh, their offensive line is what we're going to go on to next right here. Let's look at Jermon Bushrod. Now, I honestly, I can't vouch for whether or not the Bears' offensive line has been super successful because of the fact that Jay Cutler hasn't had a tremendous amount of success in the past season. I would say that their offensive line is okay. Uh, probably has had some trouble, but if you look at the experience they got and kind of the players uh, that they have on the O-line, it's not bad, man. Jermon Bushrod is left tackle, and right here we're going to looking at Matt Sloss and left guard. And uh, these guys are not bad players, man. They did have Olin Krutz at one point who retired, and Will Montgomery is also a solid center. So you would think that their offensive line would be uh, effective uh, and, and be good at uh, protecting, not only protecting Jay Cutler, but also creating running lanes for Matt Forte. And Matt Forte really hasn't slowed down a lot. He's been uh, a really, really effective player for the Bears over the past couple of seasons. 
Uh, he's, he hasn't really been the problem. Kyle Long, again, these guys are pretty, they're not bad offensive linemen, man. Uh, Kyle Long has been really good only for, for only being in the league for a short amount of time. Uh, get at both, uh, get a great pass blocker, I think, for the Bears. I uh, haven't watched a lot of gameplay of him, though. I know at Oregon he, was, he did was pretty successful. And Jordan Mills right here. Don't know too much about him at all, to be honest, but it looks like he's very young and, and it might be a little bit of trouble. To, it might be a little bit of a problem to have such a guy that young at the offensive line, but, you know, who knows? Sometimes young players can really thrive. So uh, we'll see how their offensive line does. It's going to be crucial to their offensive success. As we look at the defensive side of the ball, now this is the problem that... This is the uh, side of the team that really has been the premier problem. Uh, for a while now. Ever since Erlacher retired, it's kind of been uh, gone down. Their defense was like known of being one of the best. I remember like in previous Maddens, I was like, oh man, the, the Bears, they're, they're the team, they're the defense that you want to stay away from. But now, not so much. You look at David Bass right there, left end, don't know anything about him. And Jeremiah Ratliff right here. Ratliff I do know a little bit about. I think he was on the Cowboys and now he's on the Bears. And I, he's actually a solid player, he's got good experience. And the Bears do run a 3-4, so it'll be interesting to see how uh, he plays into their off their defensive line. I think he can be effective, man, to be honest, uh, not only in just producing, but also kind of teaching other people. I feel like that's kind of a key in football to mentor younger players and to make them better. As you look at their defensive tackle, they only need one guy rushing in the defensive tackle position. I think they have high expectations for Eddie Goldman, as I think he was a draft pick this year. I don't know for, I don't know for certain. He might have been last year, but... 6'4", 315, you know, perfect build for a defensive tackle. And uh, I think people have said have high hopes for him, so uh, hopefully the defensive tackle position for the Bears uh, can be successful this year. And, it, I mean, it would tremendously help their defense because they're struggling. Or they were struggling tremendously last year, at least. And the year before that, as we look at Pernell McPhee, now this was an acquisition in the offseason that I actually really like. Uh, for one big reason is because of the fact that Pernell McPhee was a, a, did really well when he was on the Baltimore Ravens, and nowadays the Baltimore Ravens, in my mind, are the new Chicago Bears. They're the kind of the defense that you're like, I'm afraid of like playing the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, I guess you would say the Seahawks are now the defense to be feared, but the Ravens have been out for a long time, for longer time, uh, a defense to be feared. And Pernell McPhee comes from that organization, so I think that's a great mentality to install into a defense and to back into the Bears defense, kind of rejuvenate everything. As we look at the middle linebacker position right here, Mason Foster out of Washington. I think he can be good. Uh, not a lot of experience right here. They used to have like a lot of experience with Lance Briggs and Erlacher. That's kind of gone away. They've gone young now. Sam Acho out of Texas. I actually thought Sam Acho was going to be like an extremely effective player. I don't know if it's because I've heard his name from somewhere or something, but I thought that he was a really good player. But uh, according to right here, it doesn't sound like he's been a tremendous uh, talent so far, but maybe it's just early in his career. As you look at the right outside linebacker position, again, these guys are going to be pass rushing. Lamar Houston and Jared Allen are great pass rushers, so I think this is a great position for them. Jared Allen didn't have a lot of success with the Bears last year, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if it was because of the scheme wasn't quite the same or if he's getting a little bit older, but I think that, I mean, I don't know if he's going to be injured. If he stays healthy, I think that he can improve. Uh, Lamar Houston, obviously, has actually been a pretty good player in the NFL, so I think that he can actually also help their defense out. Just changing things up really, I think, can help the Bears and I think it will help the Bears. I think we will see results in the Bears this year. Um, talking a little bit about the NFC North division with the division they're in, you got the Packers, the Lions, the Vikings, and the Bears. Packers and Lions are, the Packers are obviously the, the favorites to win. And I think it's anybody else's uh, second place position right there. Uh, I mean, if the Bears can really get their defense going, they have a chance to upset and beat the Packers a couple times maybe. But it's going to be tough. As we look at their cornerback positions right here, you got Tim Jennings, Alan Ball, Kyle Fuller, Terry Porter, or Terry Porter. Uh, Tracy Porter and I actually I, I kind of like these guys. I'm not gonna lie uh, I'm glad that they got out that they have Alan Ball there because he provides some hype for them as you kind of lack that height with Tim Jennings at only 5'8 uh, And Kyle Fuller showed really good signs last year. I remember game against the San Francisco 49ers early in the season He really thrived and Tracy Porter. I mean he was like a Super Bowl uh, Star for the New Orleans Saints a couple years ago if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else, but uh, I think he was good for the Saints at some point. I don't know if they just got rid of him but for, for some reason. But um, their cornerbacks aren't that bad, in my opinion. I just look at the safeties, and this is kind of where it's it's kind of uh, a, di a little bit different. If you look at the free safety position right here. Pretty young guys. Nothing, no, not, not anybody that everybody, not anybody that uh, people would seem to know. I don't really know who Brock Green is. Maybe he was a pick they drafted last this year, but <clears throat> it'll be interesting to see. Uh, whether or not he can be effective at, 
uh, being a rookie. I don't know if they're going to start. I, I, I don't know if it's smart to start the, this rookie right here. Or if he might be a rookie from last year. I can't tell, actually. I'm not super into whether and who the Bears have drafted in their history and whether or not Brock Freeman was this year's draft pick or last year's. I just look at Ryan Mundy and Anshaw Roll. Now, this is actually kind of beneficial to have two guys that are experienced. Ryan Mundy, uh, 6'1", 209, West Virginia, six years of experience. And Anshaw Roll, nine years from the, from the U. And uh, Anshaw Roll has been a really good player in the league. I think that that's a super positive sign because I don't know if the Bears have really ever had anybody in a while that has been an experienced player in this secondary, aside from Charles Tillman. Now that he's gone, Ancho Roll, I think, can really teach other people, even cornerbacks, how to play the game. So I think that's extremely beneficial for the Bears. And, you know, sometimes you just need to go back to basics when, the Bear, when you've been as poor defensively as the Bears were. So that's basically going to conclude uh, this roster breakdown of the Chicago Bears. I'm not an expert on the Chicago Bears. I don't know everything. You've seen, you saw me kind of like not know some players. I don't know everything, but I'm just kind of providing my t my point of view on these on this team, their chances, and uh, the players. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And yep, thanks for watching.